Tonight, FEMA is still assessing flood damage that has impacted nearly half of Minnesota's 87 counties. But we do know federal money will soon be coming to help. This morning, President Biden approved a federal disaster declaration for 22 counties. FEMA is still reviewing damages in another 20. But the disaster aid will soon be on its way to communities like Waterville in Lesur County, where they're dumping flood debris as they look to put the pieces of their homes and lives back together. Uba Ali explains why one homeowner there is still nervous about the days to come. The sound of heavy machinery echoed through Waterville as the cleanup began. Think about what's in your home, you know, the memories, the dreams. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but you know, they're sitting in these dumpsters right now. That's the tough reality for the small town battling historic floods. Ever since the flooding here, None of us has slept through the night because we're always worried about something. That left homes partially submerged and streets waterlogged. It's been difficult. And while some begin cleaning up and dropping off damaged goods, <laughs> others simply can't. We still got water coming in our basement and I got a few little nice little streams flowing through. The backed up Cannon River is flowing in Lonnie Raymold's backyard. We got a garden in our backyard, but she, you can't see it because it's under four feet of water. But despite that, just wait for the water to go down. He's doing all he can while the sun is shining before another round of rain. We're cleaning up now, but Monday and Tuesday, we might be back at square one like we haven't even did any cleaning. For now, it's all hands on deck. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep pushing and we're going to get through this. As this community helps one another. Uba Ali, WCCO News. Lesur County will continue to accept debris at the drop-off site through next week. For more information, head to WCCO.com. As we mentioned, that federal disaster declaration will bring money to communities hit hardest by the floods. Those funds can reimburse local governments for debris removal, emergency flood protection, and the repair or replacement of damaged infrastructure. So far, 22 counties have been approved. Those are the ones highlighted here in that white color. Another 20 counties are still waiting for approval. FEMA's regional director talked about the damage assessment process Friday. One of the most important things we were doing there is validating the types of damages that were coming in. And what we've seen is that there's extensive damage across the state of Minnesota.